What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. Now in today's video will be unboxing and reviewing the AI autofocus case, which goes by many brands online. Now this case is of interest because it features side protection, hinge protection, and a pen slot for the S Pen. Yes, finally, a pen slot in a prime location. Uh, this should be exciting. Now this video is featured on the Samsung Galaxy playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. Now in a previous video we unboxed the Spigen Slim Armor Pro which is the case I was using on the Z Fold 3 for some time until this one today. And that is a nice case but the problem is it was lacking the pen slot. Now there are other cases that include a pen slot but the pen slot may not be in an optimal location or those cases may be lacking hinge protection. As always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. Now you can find these items and related accessories at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find a more detailed video and YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are with the unboxing. Packaging is a basic cardboard and styrofoam setup. Now this case can be found on several online outlets, but I've included the Amazon link, which has a price of about $30. The only item included in the unboxing is the case itself. It's made of polycarbonate and features all around protection with color options being transparent, black, pink, purple, and yellow. This case features a basic look, so if you're looking for something more futuristic or edgy, you'll want to look at something like a VRS, which has a heavy-duty military appearance. Next, we have cover display protection, which features a built-in screen protector. Personally, I like to remove my devices for occasional cleaning, which is why I've never used a built-in screen protector. It also seems like you have only one chance to get the installation correct, which may be a turnoff for some. Next, we have the hinge with S Pen slot. Unlike some cases, the hinge is always in place due to its slide and design. Now you can see there is quite a bit of play here, so it's going to be interesting to see how this all works as a kit once it is attached to the Z Fold 3. Then we have the pen slot built into the hinge, which you'll want to use for two reasons. First and most obvious, it holds the S Pen, and with the pen being black, you may want to opt for the black case for a stealthy appearance where everything matches. Second, this hinge is hollow underneath the pen, so keeping the pen housed in the slot when not in use keeps dust from getting into the unit. What makes the pen slot placement on this device favorable is that it's in a location that gives the whole unit a clean aesthetic while not affecting wireless charging capability. Some cases place the S Pen on the back of the Z Fold 3, which may impede wireless charging capability and prevents the device from being flat on the back. Cutouts are clean and practical for speakers, mics, and USB-C port. The power button and volume rocker are exposed but easily accessed due to a relevant amount of case and left out. Moving on to the rear, the camera cutout provides maximum protection for all the lenses. Now before we install the case, it's important to clean our Z Fold 3 due to the built-in display protector we'll be using. Now before we can install the Z Fold 3, you can see that we have this protective mask which we're going to peel off. Then we're going to grab the Z Fold 3 and ideally this should just snap into place and this actually goes in relatively easy. It looks like we are completely in there and we're going to try to do the other side here. So everything's coming together nicely. Installation so far is good but we're getting a little hung up here and I'm going to just press into place. This actually went together really easy so far and we're going to take a look at the front there and you can see that we have more protective film on the front so we are going to peel that off so so far this does look really good we're going to just clean up the camera here a little bit get a better shot so far it's looking pretty good. So let's talk function starting with that display protector which actually applied surprisingly well. Now again, 
I've been hesitant to try these because I didn't think that they worked all that well, but you can see that we had a clean install here. Now, when it comes to the unfolding and folding of this device, there is some catch and do to the case itself. And it normally happens when you try to fold the case a little bit faster. If you do it a little slower, you normally can't detect it, but it happens right about here and it's pretty brief. But again, this is ideally due to the sliding mechanism design of the case itself. Now, when it comes to the side key and volume rocker, these are easy to access with the Z Fold 3 in the unfolded position. Now, once the device is folded up, the side key and volume buttons are slightly more difficult to access due to the cover display side of the case itself. The USB-C port is easy to access and wireless charging works normally. Now, when it comes to installing the S Pen in the slot, the Samsung logo or the Fold Edition logo needs to be facing up. If you put the pen into the side, as you can see here, the pen is a little more loose in here. So by having either of the logos facing up, the pen is held more securely in that pen slot. Now accessing the pen is fairly easy. It just slides right out. So that's not a problem. Now because of the hinge, you can see that the whole kit doesn't lay flat on a surface, but this whole kit balances surprisingly well on the hinge itself, giving it a levitating effect. And because it balances on that hinge so well, you also don't have much of the seesaw effect. Of course, you could make this device seesaw, but again, it balances on that hinge so well, it returns back to that state where it looks like it's levitating. And the self-balancing act continues once the whole kit is folded as well, and it stands upright without tipping over easily. Now, when it comes to the hinge itself, there is some back and forth play, and it's most noticeable when the device is unfolded but it's not a deal breaker here. Now this hinge is also useful because it serves as a gripping point for your device so that it's less likely to fall out of your hands. Also of note, this whole kit still fits into the GameSir X2 controller fairly well. And lastly, this may be due to my color option, but I've noticed that these black cases do attract quite a bit of fingerprints. So regular cleaning is going to be necessary for this case. Overall, this case should allow us to finally carry the S Pen and actually see what it's capable of. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are a lot of comments and sometimes the YouTube Creator Studio doesn't show them all for some reason. So I try to answer as many as I can. And unfortunately, I'm responding in some situations two or three months later because I'm finally seeing those comments by actually finding them by another means. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel and content. Again, the first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out. Yeah.